Howdy chumps, my name is Mohit and guys before I actually talk, speak, explain, go deeper, let me first show you a published preview. Here goes, control, enter on the keyboard to export the Swift and uh, test the movie. Right, so guys, uh, so many things came across. I'm sure uh, you might have understood that not only is this uh, photo slideshow, a photo gallery, um, button controlled, it's also thumb controlled. Um, it has a background music. Um, all the pictures are coming in from an external folder, which means they are not inside the flash interface. Okay. Uh, the only thing that is inside the flash interface of the library is the thumbs and uh, those two buttons plus that label which is uh, diagonal on the left top corner but uh, as far as the music is concerned as far as the um, pictures being loaded dynamically is concerned they're all coming over uh, from an external folder let me show that folder to you as well okay so <coughs> this is the um, folder called musical slideshow which is hosting this images folder where all the five pictures have been stored or kept or housed right not only that guys uh, uh, a piece of music which is soothing music which is an mp3 format uh, music clip is also stored externally so later on what you can do is you can change this uh, music clip retaining the name of the music the file name that is you can change the images increase or decrease them as well and um, but you should retain the same name 1.jpg 2.jpg 3.jpg in case uh, they are B uh, png images you'll need to go to the uh, the action script and make certain alterations to the script right so uh, and guys you can of course increase and decrease the number of images just in case uh, you would want to go beyond five images the names should be six dot uh, jpg 7.jpg 8.jpg etc but uh, the numerical order and the uh, the way that i've kept the names in terms of numbers should not be that rule should be adhered to and should not be broken right otherwise you'll need to make uh, major alterations to the code right so that's very cool so just changing the images and the music clip and the making slight uh, or mild alterations to the action script everything works just fine let me open up the flash interface again so as i said this music gallery uh, thumb control gallery a uh, button control gallery uh, <coughs> basically a gallery which loads images dynamically is complete in all the senses all the images have a label okay let me show it to you once again control enter to test the swift Okay, and let me also open up the actions panel for you guys. Uh, it's a pretty lengthy one, obvious. Since we have so many functions, I forgot to tell you that this uh, photo slideshow is such that if you mouse over, uh, the timer stops. So basically, uh, since there is an automatic progression of the pictures too, the images change automatically from one to the other, uh, that progression stops but when you take the mouse pointer away from the pictures or off the pictures the uh, timer uh, kicks again and the progression starts to the next image once again okay so that's also there so it's it's an automatic gallery button control thumb control uh, with the background music so <laughs> what else can you ask for with the labels that change automatically so much okay uh, one of the key questions, see the uh, script is 120, 
20 lines odd so it's a pretty big script so what I've done is I've actually um, put a lot of uh, comments like in line number 15 so make thus making the script uh, self-explanatory uh, guys I'm not gonna go into the detail of uh, how this script was made but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what if uh, you know you change the pictures just give me a minute let me put some description for this comment as well controlling the thumbnails right so what may happen is you may change the number of pictures lying externally and then you might want to come inside the script and make the alteration so I'm only gonna talk about the alterations that you need to make right <coughs> uh, first things first okay the first thing uh, that might happen is you might change the total number of images for example let's say uh, the total number of images instead of using five images you may want to use ten images so what you need to do is you need to come in line number ten and replace the variable total images to a ten not a five which is the default okay uh, also guys if you need to control the progression of the images from one to the other a little faster or slower you can alter the timer uh, in line number 23 I've kept it at four seconds or 4000 milliseconds you can keep it to a different number okay that's the second thing you need to do and let's say you have 10 images uh, so obviously since the images uh, will be talking about something else other than barbecue chicken bread and rolls burger so what you need to do is you need to come in line number 18 and you need to put your own labels or titles out here inside the inverted codes all right so if you have 10 images you need to add five more separated by a comma uh, inside the codes all right and uh, let's see what else you need to change okay you need I have generated five thumbs guys give me a minute I have generated five thumbs and I've called them t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 this is something that you'll need to do for the 10 images which means that you'll need to remove my thumbs okay uh, you will need to generate your own thumbs now every thumb guys uh, it's actually a group of images uh, what I've done is is 80 by 16 dimension so you will need to import all the pictures inside the library you need to you need to uh, make them much smaller so 80 by 60 is what I've used and uh, you you'll need to uh, give them the same uh, instance names to match mine t1 t2 t3 t4 thumb 1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 till t10 just let's say an example so you will need to generate these thumbs the buttons will already be there right so you don't need to do anything with the buttons the texture will be there you don't need to do anything with the texture you just need to increase the number of thumbs and obviously change the actual thumb it can't if it's actually flowers it can't look like barbecued chicken goes without saying isn't it guys <coughs> right also make sure that the timeline structure looks just the way mine does texture at the bottom thumbs then the buttons okay let me hide each and every layer so you can actually understand this is the thumbs this is the buttons okay this is the label all right the top one is the as3 action script 3 and the bottom most is the texture right so you need to um, add the thumbs right and if you add the thumbs you need to make alteration to the uh, action script as well uh, let me show you how uh, we have a section called controlling the thumbs it says uh, t1 dot add event listener t2 dot add event listener so if you have um, 10 thumbs then you need to say t6 dot add event listener mouse event dot click thumb handler right so you need to add five more lines uh, following the same pattern that I've followed out here okay after which guys uh, you need to follow the pattern out here as well so where it's where I say if event dot current target 
is equal to is equal to t1 image number is equal to 1 if event dot current target is equal to is equal to t2 checking if it is equal to t2 uh, make the image number equal to 2 so if you have 10 images you need to go on like this uh, else if uh, event dot current target is equal to is equal to uh, t5 uh, image number is equal to 5 if event dot current target is equal to, is equal to t6 then uh, image number uh, should be 6 so on and so forth so just follow the pattern that I followed out here guys and uh, you should be able to do it right so as I said it's a lengthy script guys I don't I will definitely not go into the details of uh, explaining each and every line I've left a lot of comments so for most people who are smart enough who know um, a decent amount of action script should be able to understand it so <clears throat> let me uh, terminate this tutorial saying that let's say for example you go from five images to ten in the external folder where I've kept all the images you replace the images uh, put your own ten images please name them 1.jpg 2.jpg or PNG in case it's PNG you need to make this JPG into a PNG guys out here in line number 29 okay don't mix PNG and JPGs together that's a warning don't do that okay so what you need to do is you need to first alter line number 18 where you need to change the labels for the pictures obviously you have your own pictures which means you should have your own labels add or delete the labels as the case might be right please also come to line number 21 change the total number of images from a 5 to a 10 right if you want to slow down the automatic progression or increase the rate at which the pictures progress please change the uh, the timer delay value from a 4000 to a 5000 or a 3000 whatever right uh, again as I said you will need to I have five thumbs which I had to create you need to create five more okay you need to call them t6 t7 t8 t9 t10 following the same pattern you need to increase these five lines to ten lines saying that t6 dot add event listener mouse event dot click comma thumb handler okay you need to follow the same pattern inside out here as well you need to say if else if uh, event dot current target is equal to is equal to t7 or t6 then the image number should be equal to 6 if it is uh, event dot current target is equal to is equal to t7 then image number is equal to 7 go on till image number becomes 10 since I have used only 5 uh, images uh, I'm terminating I, I terminate image number at 5 but you should terminate it at 10 please follow the same pattern rest everything else remains just the same okay everything else remains just the same guys there's no other alteration that you need to make and the script will adapt to the external pictures automatically uh, the best part is this, the pictures uh, are brought in dynamically and they center themselves according to the size of the stage so they center themselves top top bottom left right that's the cool thing so guys I'm terminating this tutorial uh, letting you know that you can download this uh, file the flower file and the assets at HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net uh, forward slash downloads that's my website guys my name is Mohit I uh, conduct courses in flash and action script 3 as well as uh, Dreamweaver at Mumbai India right so guys I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial although I didn't take you into the details of action script being around 120 lines and uh, a little complex moderately complex right so guys uh, please download and make alterations to the flower file if you have any doubts please Skype me up on Mohit dot Manuja and if I have the time I'll try and help you out I do not promise I'm always uh, on a tight leash but still let's see if I if I can actually help you so guys I hope to see you once again with yet another flash forward slash action script forward slash dreamweaver tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace